Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia. Long time no see. I've had some problems with my back and my neck, but they're hopefully resolved and I have been able to get back to crafting. I'm really excited. So this week, I'm. this is uh, what I have managed to make. I finished it this morning and I thought, I'm going to have a go and see if I can remember how to make a video and how to edit it. So it's actually a slender. I did repurpose a book for the pages, uh, but I had to actually end up making a new cover because it grew a little bit fat for um, the existing one. So I've made this out of craft text, text covered it with um, lace, fabric, done some collaging on the front and uh, used a little bit of padding and some fabric on the inside. So I've called it uh, Once Upon a Dream and it has lots of quotes about dreams and has a very romantic feel. So as I said, some collaging here on the front, uh, old photo, parts of some doilies, part of um, the tulle on an old wedding dress that I have, some bits of lace, and here a little garment pin with a few little pieces on it, a butterfly and a little tag that says made with love. So I've used sari silk to um, make the closure. So inside, as I said, I've used some fabric. It measures um, four by 10 inches. A bit of vintage lace here, some beautiful uh, William Morris fabric that just went perfectly with the colors that I had. So let's just check out the collaging. I've used um, as much as I could things from my scrap box. Um, I didn't print anything out for this, although I did print some of the photos out for it, but everything else is from my scrap box. And um, I'll put a link to most of the scraps, um, digitals that I've used in the description box. So here's some layering, um, some paper flowers, some little um, pearls, and a little bit of, um, what do you call that stuff? Muslin. Um, the base for the pages is um, Gothic script from an old German book. And then I've just layered bits and pieces on top of it. So this is not a journal that you would write in, although I have um, put little pieces of uh, leftover ephemera in there. I'm hoping that the person who gets it will be able to use that in their own projects. So some tissue paper that I've printed on, part of an old doily, um, some flower stickers. This page... Um, has a side pocket, there's a paper doily there and another bit of it here. And then I've layered up um, bits from um, a digital kit. I think that's My Porch Prints, Grandma's Attic. And then some of the book pages, if, uh, Tracy Fox um, tags, I love those. And th this is from a beautiful wedding dress that I found recently in an op shop. And then just some um, vintage photos that I've printed out and um, a commercial card. So I can't remember where these tickets from, but they, that would be an Etsy purchase, some um, a bit of a vintage doily there. This was from a book, that, actually the last book that I used um, to do my last project, which was now nearly two years ago, and it had a lot of sayings in it. So this says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So a little bold pin up here with um, some tags, a pearl and a little bit of lace. And on this side, another one of the photos. All of the photos are of a girl who was photographed a lot during um, the early 1900s. She was German. Her name was Greet Reinwald. And um, her sister and her brother were also photographed a lot too. Beautiful, beautiful expression um, on her face. She went on to become an actress. So I sew around those, made a little pocket, a little tag again from the book with the sayings in it. This one here, um, these, this paper um, at the base is um, antique papery and I stamped on that. You made a little book down there with a bit of the gothic script um, collaged onto it. Another photo, some little uh, lacy scraps, some folded up um, parchment paper 
just tucked in there that you could write on if you wanted to. And up the top, I just used some sari silk and some old lace just to add some interest through an eyelet. Um, there are two signatures. So this is the end of the first signature, four pages, oh, four leaves with eight, um, which gives eight pages. So these gorgeous little pieces are from a digital called um, Paper Garden. It's a Finnish couple. Uh, and that, that was what I used uh, in my last um, project, which was an art journal. So these are little pieces left over that I didn't use. So some stamping. This, these are stickers down here. I thought they added a bit of interest. They're raised up a bit and they're sparkly. Always uh, have dreams. On this side, I used the Gothic pages as the base and then laid some scrappy bits and created a couple of pockets. This one just has a um, glassine bag with some little um, used stamps and things in them. Made a tag, sewed around that some sari and some uh, ribbon. I like that to pop out. This one here is again a paper doily, um, little quotes from Tim Holtz, in my dreams full of bright hopes, dreams come true. And, and this is, I picked this up recently at one of those cheap shops. There was a little set of them and inside I've popped in some ephemera. I like that it pokes out the side there. So the second signature, a uh, pocket, done a little bit of stamping, um, that was a sticker. There's a little brad down there of fleur de lis, little um, bulb garment pin with some bits on it, um, through an eyelet, a little pocket, another tag, and a printed piece of ephemera. And again, that, that um, ephemera pokes out at the top, and I Quite like that look. I love how these bulb pins go, but they jiggle around a little bit. So uh, another little glassine envelope with some little bits and pieces in it. Again, you can see the layering. So doily, um, torn page, book page. Another photo. This one's sewn. Used a little bit of um, glitter on there. Be a dreamer. This one I did some uh, mixed media because I had this quote, dreams are the seedlings of reality. So uh, I used a um, stencil that has some branches and I used um, some stickles on that. Is it stickles? Yes, stickles, and then um, paper, flowers with little pearls, a little bit of um, seam binding. There's a little butterfly up here, and again the little, um, whoops, the little stickers. So just in here, I popped some pieces of ephemera that I'd printed onto um, newspaper, which is very light and flimsy because newspapers were only meant to be used for the day. So they give um, an interesting effect. They're not waterproof, so it will run if you um, spray it with things. Unlike the digitals that I normally print, uh, I print them onto photo paper, so they don't actually run. So up here, this one says, be brave, take risks. There's a woman standing on um, the top of a mountain. I made some pockets put some ephemera in, vintage photo of an Edwardian lady on a traveling expedition, looks like Egypt. Uh, leftover little piece of ephemera, the Eiffel Tower. And on this page here, again, some pockets, some old lace. And um, this is uh, also from Grandma's Attic. This one um, is antique papery. This one's left over from Paper Garden, so is that one, and a Tim Holtz um, postcard. So I'm hoping that the person who receives this will, be, as a gift, will be able to use the bits of ephemera if they want to. 
So here I've sewn, uh, sewn it onto a scrap piece of paper, the little photo, and it says dream, dreams of beauty. Love the little red embroidered cap that she's wearing. Little piece of ephemera. And again, lots of layering of leftover pieces. Here I've created another pocket and into that I popped, um, <clears throat> I've been seeing these a lot. This is um, from Tailor Made Journals and um, really gorgeous. They were French uh, documents. And so instead of the whole document, I just printed out um, a French letter onto some parchment or transfer paper. Tran is it transfer paper? Tracing paper. And um, popped it in there because I didn't want it to be too bulky. And again, lots of layering. And uh, use a little tab and a bulb pin. And that's my final page. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, the little flip through and... Um, hopefully I will see you all again soon with another project. Okay, take care.